Jason Beatty from the Daily Mirror. Isn't the problem with your message that this fear about losing incomes only affects those who actually have something to lose? And a lot of Mirror readers will say, look, we're already poor, we already aren't feeling the benefits of the European Union, and this is going over their head. What message would you say to them to try and convince them? What I'd say to everyone is that everyone has something to lose if we have a smaller economy. If you believe the nine out of ten economists, the governor of the Bank of England, the International Monetary Fund, the OECD, the head of the World Trade Organization. If you believe these people, then you're going to have a smaller economy, you're going to have fewer jobs, you'll have lower wages, you'll have higher prices. That will directly affect everyone in our country. And to mirror readers, I would say, look, of course, there's a debate about how we get domestic policy right in our country. We can have an argument about the health service. We can have an argument about how we best improve education. We can have an argument about reforming our prisons. Let's have an argument about all of these things, but let's not mistake that argument for the huge discussion we're currently having about whether we are better off in or, or better off out. And that is why I think, you know, you can see uh, me appearing on platforms with leaders of green parties, liberal parties, labor parties, trade unions, businesses large and small, NGOs, there's an extraordinary and huge coalition of people who don't normally agree with each other, but on this issue agreeing that whatever your political perspective, we're better off in. And then you look at the Leave campaign. Very few independent experts, very few third party supporters. The spokesman, the chief economic spokesman, thinks that we should be obliterating manufacturing industry, as far as I can see from what he said. Uh, um, over the last few days. So it's a very big contrast. So to people who are still making up their mind, if you look at the breadth of the campaign to stay, if you look at the mounting evidence of potential damage to our economy, I think there's a very, very strong case for saying that we are stronger, we are safer, we're better off if we stay in a reformed European Union. Can I thank you all very much for coming and look forward to seeing you again in the next 16 days of this campaign. Thank you.